Hello guys, um, this is Tina and uh, in this video I'm going to talk about Interceptor in Spring MVC. Um, Interceptor is very similar to the filter inside the servlets. Okay, so let's take a look at what is a filter first. Suppose you have a request from your client and uh, on your server side on your server side you have a servlet uh, you have a servlet a here and this servlet is the ui like i suppose is called uh, uh, a okay and you make a request to slash a okay sometimes your requests are not directly go to do get method in the servlet because there's something called a filter Uh, filter suppose I have one filter and I have another one okay F I L T E R filter B and uh, I have another one let's call filter C okay and uh, after you have filters you can also apply the URL patterns decide based on which pattern it will go to this filter. Suppose this one we call a uh, user uh, asterisk. This one is called the product okay. and asterisk. This one we give slash. And uh, or you can do like uh, this match all things. You can also like uh, this one is also match for all of them. Let me change a little bit here, okay? Because otherwise it doesn't work. Suppose this one and this one will change the URL to be uh, user add. And this one will make a call to user add. When you make a user add and you have your filter configured like this, okay, your requests are not automatically, are not directly go to your servlets, are not directly go here. Uh, tom, uh, Tomcat, which is your container, will form a request chaining, okay. He will go through all the filters which is match your patterns. See the pattern, the URL pattern is this one. And this is your filter A, which is uh, using kind of like an end matcher. It, this URL, which is in, inside, okay, inside the, or match this pattern, URL pattern. So your request will go through filter A first. Then take a look at this pattern, URL pattern, and URL doesn't match, so it will skip. And for this one, this one kind of like for all the requests. So your URL, no matter what kind of URL you go, it will also go to your filter C. And after all the filter is done, then it will go to your servlet to be processed. And that's the idea of the filter. You will gain very similar ideas inside the spring. So first we take a look at our major components first, okay? We talk about in spring MVC, we have five major components. You have your client. And then you have your dispatcher servlet. Okay. And then you dispatcher servlet will ask a help from handler mapping to find the controller, right? That's what we talk about. Uh, it will find the controller. Okay. Actually, this this piece here is not only find the controller. Handler mapping will form a handler mapping chain. Okay, what is a handler mapping chain? Which is uh, before actually your request goes to the controller method, he will find the interceptors. Interceptor A, it's like a filter A, filter B, interceptor B. 
and then uh, in the separator has a do uh, has a pre handle and post handle method. He will form like this way, and then you will have the uh, interceptor B, which is a post method, and then you will go through here, and then interceptor A post method go through like this way. This handle mapping not directly just to give you controller. He will form a handler chain. Okay, and one more thing we actually didn't talk about it. It gonna goes back and goes back. Uh, handle mapping will will form a handler chain chaining, but they actually didn't res don't resolve the methods which actually process the request. There's another thing called a handler adapter. Dispatch servlet will go through the handle adapter. Handle adapter, which actually will re resolve, will resolve the methods. Will resolve the methods. Which method to call? This is the handle adapter's task. Then, uh, the, after the method is called, it will return back to the uh, view name, uh, model, and. Uh, View right, then this file servlet will go to the view resolver, and uh, the which give the views logic name, right, and uh, the view resolver will give the actual view, the path include, and then the display servlet, we are using the model to render the view and after it render it's gonna have a response and then it will dispatch a server it will return respond to client and this part is a request so we'll talk about the interceptor okay handler mapping we are not directly just to give you a controller it will resolve a handler mapping chaining so what is the interceptor Let's give another diagram. When you have a client comes, your request will go to where? Go to dispatch servlet. Dispatcher, P A T C H, dispatcher servlet. And dispatcher servlet will go through the interceptor in Spring. And after go through interceptor, it will go to your controller. In Spring MVC project, you can also have a filter here. You can also have a filter. Okay, so interceptor is the action happened between the server and the controller. It's not uh, between the client and the server. Filter is kind of like a before. The dispatch servlet. Okay, this is the filter. So how to be a filter inside a Spring? If I remember correctly, you have to have a class implement the filter, and in the filter it has three methods. One is called a pre handle. The other one is called a post handle. And the last one is called a after completion. Okay, so what are those? Let me move back, a move top a little bit, okay? And uh, let me change the filter interceptor part a little bit. How can I make it larger, this one? It's a little bit hard to do this. Uh, suppose you have uh, two interceptors. One is intercept A, interceptor A, and another one is intercept B. And you are you configure this one is a slash user like the example slash okay intercept B you using like a slash slash match all the request. 
So in each of intercept A, you are called pre, you have pre and post and after connection. And in the intercept B, you also have pre handle and post handle method, right? Who's gonna call first? It will call kind of like uh, intercept A's uh, pre handle method first. Then it will call intercept B's pre handle method first. And after the controller method is processed, okay, it's done. After method is done, then it will call intercept B's. It will call interceptor B's post method. And then it will call uh, it will call interceptor A's post method. And after everything is finished, it will go back to your servlet. So post and pre-handle method will post 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 handle method will be called in the reverse order of the pre-handle method. And after completion method, after completion method is is a callback function. This one is a callback function. Oh, sorry, callback method. Okay, callback method, which means after the view page is rendered, then this method gonna be called. You can do some clean up, or you can kind of like uh, if you put something in the session attributes temporary, you can remove from the after completion method, right? If you only want it to be used only once. So uh, this is kind of like the concept of the interceptor. And uh, in my next video, I'm going to show you how to actually create a class, which is uh, to do some logging uh, using the interceptor. So that's it. See you next time.